bright sky, vital earth, green hills, clean water. A brief of Shinju incineration plant. Garbage and waste have been increasingly worse, largely advancement of the domestic economy. Especially in the urban cities, the crowded population has taken the concern of city government to deal with the harsh problem. In 1994, the Shinju city government commissioned private construction firms to build the incineration plant in the Nanliao Seacoast Ecology Area for recycling. The incineration plant is near the previous location of Nanliao Landfill. The architecture of the plant, around 5.5 square hectares, was designed by Paycob Freed and Partners Architects, an internationally renowned architectural firm. The plant started to run on February 16, 2001. The incinerator adopts the 24-hour operated co-combustion type furnace incinerator, capable of disposing a maximum of 900 metric tons of waste daily. This is enough to treat the daily waste with a total amount of 480 metric tons generated by Shinju city citizens. The Rongfu Company Limited is authorized to operate the plant. The process of refuse disposal. proved that 40% of resources can be reused in garbage and recyclables. Household garbage can be divided into three classifications recyclable garbage, food scraps, and ordinary garbage. Recyclable garbage. This kind of household garbage is reusable including waste paper, glass, plastics, metal, and organic garbage. Remember the garbage has been classified and recycled, and it can help reduce the pollution in our environment and the cost of garbage disposal. Food scraps. This kind of garbage is leftovers from meals and food. Leftover meals can be feedstuff for pigs. Some uneatable things, such as peels, coffee grounds, tea leaves and eggshells, can be collected and fermented into organic manure. Ordinary garbage. Except the two classifications above, the kind of garbage can be divided into flammable garbage and non-flammable garbage. Flammable garbage is flamed up by the incinerator under high temperature. Non-flammable garbage is buried at the sanitary landfill. Here we will present how refuse is disposed and the incineration plant works. There are several steps for refuse disposal. First, in-staff transports garbage into the plant. Unload the garbage, move flammable garbage into the incinerator with automatic equipment, burn the garbage into ashes, filter exhaust gas out, and finally clean up the ashes. The staff always concerned with the protection of the incineration plant for prolonging running as they perform their daily work. First, every day the fleet of trash trucks will run along the roads and streets several times in Shinju City to collect garbage or waste from the residents. Every crammed truck, without exception, needs to drive on a measured device which is set at the gate of the plant. 
The measure device will calculate the truck's weight and the weight of the garbage can be figured out. Then, the truck will drive toward the garbage tank at a three-floor height and of 10,800 cubic meters to unload garbage through one of 12 chutes. At the same time, a technician in the crane control room operates device to lift the garbage in the tank into one of two incinerators. The crane control room was established by lots of precious equipment to handle and control the condition of work. Also, the grab can automatically calculate the weight of the garbage it carries and set the speed that garbage is lifted into the incinerator. The two incinerators operate constantly and use a mass burn system. The central room arranges the automatic control system to direct the incinerators and report conditions all times. In the incinerator, garbage will be burned at different temperatures for different kinds of garbage. For example, ordinary garbage should be burned over 950 degrees Celsius and the temperature of the air inside the incinerator should be controlled at 950 degrees Celsius. Also, the amount of waste should be limited. During combustion, Best Available Control Technology, or BACT, is applied to purify smoke generated. Meanwhile, an air extracting apparatus draws gas produced by the waste into the running incinerator. The gas will be burned down with the waste. It can help the fresh air entering the garbage tank continually, maintain negative pressure environment in the tank, and reduce the pollutant to spread into the air of other area. A gas treatment system installed activated carbon system to help remove dioxin efficiently. The incineration process involves three types of machines, namely cyclone dust collector, semi-dry scrubber, and bag type dust collector to use in filtering and eliminating the toxic substances generated from burning. The byproducts generated from burning include fly ash, reactants and residues. Fly ash and reaction ash are carried by special trucks with airtight ash tank to be solidified at the ash solidification plant and the residues are buried at the landfill site. Implementation of environmental faith. The Shinju incineration plant is the location of the Bureau of Environmental Protection, Shinju. The Bureau moved here when the plant opened. The Bureau sincerely desires to express its faith in environmental protection. Its main duty is to supervise the operation of the plant for Shinju residents. It should take care exactly that the values of air and water and temperature be maintained in normal. The Bureau wants to show residents that the incineration plant is environmental and friendly to the land. The plant was built under recycling and environmental protection. Under environment regulations, the sewage disposal facility and the air filter facility are being installed to deal with wastewater and air discharged by the whole plant to achieve zero emission standards.
For the purpose of energy conservation, the steam turbine generator produces sufficient energy for the plant and sells the rest to the Taiwan Power Company. The Landscape of 17-Kilometer Coastline Scenic Area in Shinju City The Shinju Incineration Plant possessed two characters of technology and architecture. Inside the plant, it was constructed by the precious facilities and standard working process. But outside was decorated as an artwork. The famous architect applied the architectural idea of the glass pyramid of the Louvre, France into the appearance of the plant. With his genius, this technological building becomes a work fine art. Bright glass with harmonious silver and green colors makes up the outer wall of the building. It accurately matches the building with the scenery around the coast. Mr. Pei really reformed the dirty building into a fine artwork. This is why the Shinju incineration plant was chosen to be one of eight landscapes and has attracted many people to visit. Vision As Shinju incineration plants started to serve, environment work in Shinju City is being transformed into a new stage. It helps garbage treatment with technology and standardization. Despite the welfare of Nanlao's residents is taken in concern, the plant not only burns garbage down, but can offer a space for leisure. People can come here to enjoy ecology, knowledge, safety, relaxation, and health. In the future, we sincerely hope the residents support the Bureau of Environmental Protection Shinju. Your encouragement and advice can supply the power of environmental work. The Bureau will continue to devote our efforts to maintain and improve the green environment of Shinju City. Here, we advocate that everyone should take environmental protection into life. We all have duty to classification and recycling. It not only conserves resources, but helps to protect the longevity of the incineration plant. It's not difficult to do the trash classification. Let us learn together and create a pure living environment coexisting with nature harmoniously and without pollution. Shinju Incineration Plant